Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we found our way out of Wayward Cave after guiding a girl named Nia uh, to the exit. And now we are gonna start making our way to a hard home city. Let's cut down this tree. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I just remembered I planted some berries around here. Yes, they should have been grown by now. Let's grab some chestos. And some razzes. Now let's start making our way forward. That should also mean the other set of berries I planted here should have grown as well. Okay, apparently the Lepa plant is still growing, so I'm gonna have to eventually come back and check it. Probably will do that off screen, but let's grab some Chestus. Let's go forward. Hi, Donnie. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me, I got something nice for you. Donnie, choose what hand you want. I'll say the right. I see you want the Versus Seeker. And impressed as Donnie, you know what's important. She gives us the Versus Seeker. Using that Versus Seeker, you can find trainers who want on the rematch with you. Oh, Donnie, you also have a Poketch. Yep, you do. So you can have this too then. You deserve it for all the hard work, Donnie. We also get the dowsing machine. The dowsing machine app can locate unseeable items. The dowsing machine is, is something you should touch often. It will tell you if there's an item on the ground that you can't see. It will be especially useful inside dark caves. Okay, let's keep working on our Pokedexes. Professor Rowan's counting on us. Much like what she said, I can find which app this is. We have the Dowsing Machine app, which as you can see, can detect an item. So we can use it to find hidden items. So if you're ever in, a, uh, sp in an area, and you believe a spot may look a bit suspicious, give the Dowsing Machine app a try. And who knows, you might be right and might have detected an item. Let's see, so it said there was an item here. I go up, I think it's like two steps. Okay, one step, and then it could be two steps this way. Yep! A revive! Fitting that they give you an item there, uh, because you might be curious to test out your, uh, dowsing machine app. Now, before we pr press on, let's return to Orberg City and visit the museum, because while I was underground at one, point, at one point, I found an item of interest if we speak to this guy. Hello, hello. How are you? I study fossil Pokemon. Me, right. I hear now now. You have a fossil for me, yes? Shall I turn it into a Pokemon? I am in process of extracting your Pokemon from a fossil. Go outside, yes. Please, now. Time alone is what I need. Now! Okay, we'll do what you say. Go outside, then immediately go back in. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon Fossil. Me, right here and now. You were gone too long. I was gone for like a second. You kept us waiting. Unacceptable. This is your shell gone. You'll be good to it, okay? With that, we get shell gone. Shell gone, I believe, uh, Fossil is exclusive to Pokemon um, Brilliant uh, Pearl and, Shine and Shining Pearl. 
while in, in Diamond and Brilliant Diamond, you would find, uh, Cranidos fossils instead. It is so far the only fossils you can currently find until post-game. It naturally polishes its face by rubbing itself against tree chunks. It is weak to attacks from behind. Yeah, if you find fossils in the underground, go to that guy and he'll turn them into Pokemon. Trainer tips. Pokemon may become immobilized if they are asleep or paralyzed. If this happens, your Pokemon could be disastrous. If your opponent Pokemon can't move, it could be a big opportunity. Right, this looks like a double battle, so let's get Sandoku and Marf set up. Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard too. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best too. Uh, by Laren and who was the other one? Anthony. All right, Trace has copied the runaway, I presume, from the Ponyta. Hmm. That says you focus on the Pachirisu while you can just side beam the Ponyta. Wow, you both hate Sandoku. Oh, you are able to survive both those attacks. Sandoku's close will level up. Down goes the Ponyta. Sandoku grew to level 24. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost. See, uh, put you in the lead, Marf. I think we'll go visit the TV station in Jubilee City next. Did you know? You can dig up fossils in the Grand Underground. Those fossils can be turned back into Pokemon at the Mining Museum. Bit late with news flash, but yeah, that is true. I just got through Mount Coronet, but we still got fuel in the tank. Hiker Justin. So we're gonna start with a Geodude. Good, you don't have Sturdy, so you can be taken out in one hit. Or, yep, I'm switching you out for something else. Let's bring in Spectria. Spectria casts a hex. She's close to a level up. Whoops! 
Did I ma make too much uh, to beat us? We need to rest up in Urberg City before heading to Mount Coronet again. Let's sneak to the side here. I wear shorts the whole year. I got energy to burn. Youngster uh, Arston. All right, we got its keen eyes. Just blasted away with a side beam. Ooh, you're gonna bring out a chim jar. Hello, little chim jar. Mm, those fury sights hit a few bit. I think before I go into Mount Coronet, I might quickly swing by Orberg City uh, for its Pokemon Center. Once we're done clearing out the trainers out here, Igrasil grew to level 27, while Spectre grew to level 25. Ooh, yes, Mega Drain. 40 power. You won't use it very much, but at least you got an option to heal. Incoming Geodudes! <laughs> Having lots of energy isn't good enough. My Pokemon don't wear anything. I'm I'm worried that they will be cold. Okay, okay. Let's be quick about this. Found by Battle Girl Haven. We're gonna bring out a mini tight. Battle of the Mind. Pure power. It's actually a pretty decent ability. You don't do much. Actually, I'm going to take this opportunity to do a life do. Let's just sneak up in your shadow again. Marf grew level 24. You're gonna bring out Machop. Let's bring out Mana. Let's hit you with a water gun. Oh no wait, no, that's not water gun, it's bubble beam. I forgot what we taught her bubble beam. Newton grew to level 25. 
No way. Give us another battle. All right. I'm out of Pokemon. Yep, I like the way you battle. Uh, let's see, mana, take point. Wa ha ha ha! Laughing ring brings good fortune! Challenge over by Hiker Kevin. He's gonna start with a Geodude. Hopefully this GG doesn't have sturdy. Good it doesn't. I'm gonna bring out another G dude. Probably gonna suffer the same fate as the previous one. Oh, he's gonna change it up and bring out a Subat. Face Mana's Bubbles! Face her Bubble Barrage! Wah ha ha ha! There's nothing I can do but laugh! Here we can find a hidden item being a rare candy. And down here is a dire hit. I think before we go through Mount Coronet, I think I'll make a quick visit to uh, Orberg just to heal up. Seeing we're so close to a Pokemon Center. Yes, heal up my Pokemon for me. Get on my bike. Now into Mount Coronet we go! According to one's theory, Mount Coronet is where Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Interesting way to view things. Alright, anyway, we're now on the other side of the mountain. Wahahaha, you're just a little kid! How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? By Hiker Robert. Right, mana, just blow away that rock with your bubble be beams. Be 
You're gonna bring in another G dude. Which mana will easily destroy with her bubble beam. I'm a grown up, but I got served by some little kid. Wow, you sure you you are sure impressive. Guess it makes no difference if you're if you're young or old in Pokemon battles. This is Karate Man. We'll pulverize you. Black Bell Kyle. He's gonna start with a mud chop. It's nothing mana can't handle. Bubble Beam! Still lack power. I need to work out more. My Pokemon does too. Oh right, there's an item there I can currently grab. Yoink! It was an X speed. Was there an item? I forget. No, doesn't appear to be a hidden item here. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? Joined by Hiker Jonathan. Oh, man, is gonna destroy that Onyx. Yeah, you're gonna face something cute and adorable that's going, going to pull, that's gonna bubble beam you to death. Or not, because you stupidly have sturdy. Mana grew to level 25. We were starved for food, and now we starve for win. <sighs> I feel even hungrier. Maybe I could chow down some berries. But should I really eat berries? What am I, a Pokemon? Sanduku, you can take points. You find a Pokeball. Oh, you want to have a battle? I was meaning to enter the Super Contest show, but beating you won't take long. Roma Lady Hana. <laughs> Flame Charge. <laughs> Down goes our combies. Uh, yeah, let's keep Sandoku out here for Roselia. I'm going to Ember you because you very likely have Poison Point. How 
have another fiery taste of ember. Ooh, he's close to a level. Oh, you have us beaten. You and your Pokemon have so much energy. I think you would do well in the Super Contest shows. You and I, let us create a scene of, fantastic, uh, of a fantastic taboo of battle. By Artist William. I'm gonna start with my junior. This is like the only artist that we fight because I don't remember the artist uh, class trainer being very common in this game. I mean, there may be one other artist I think can show up, but other from that, I don't remember fighting this type of class trainer very often. Sanduku grew level 25. Wants to learn Flame Wheel. Physical, better than Flame Charge, so yeah, let's teach it to ya. We're gonna bring out Bonsly. Marf, let's bring you out here. Rockhead Psybeam Take out that little oh bond line. Magnificent! I'm mighty aglow with inspiration. That battle will surely become su stupendous masterpiece painting. I shall title it Pokemon Can Win. Don't say word, just take it. An odd keystone. Go to Route 209. Head to Grand Underground. Listen to the stone pillar. Speak to Spelunkers. Here we can find a jar of honey. Pretty tight. I'm pretty sure I already caught you, so I have little reason to deal with you. Let's nab the berries that are out here. Some razzes. Some bulks. And some pineapps. The Berry Master's house, free berries available. So here is the Berry Master house. We can speak to this old man. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You are deserving of one. Citrus berry. So if we come and see this guy once per day, he will give us a, a, a type of berry, a berry at random. He can potentially give you a few rare berries that I think you can only get off him. Are you forgetful of the type who loses track of the berries you planted? Yes, yes, I thought so, on the same way. The town app shows you where the ripe berries are, that are, are ready to be plucked. Uh, would you like some berries? They're all plump and ripe. 
So here we can buy berries from her if we want to. She would originally, I think, in Diamond Pearl Platinum, sell a uh, different. Uh, I think like matches, artists that can affect the growth of your um, of your berries. It's time for the happy, happy A club. Just want to report Donnie's A catch around the valley wind works. Now Donnie, Donnie now Al has a healthy manaphy. Congratulations, Asians. Be good to your new family member. Until next time, I'll do. And with that, I think we'll end the episode off here. So in the next episode, we will go into Heart Home City. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos. It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode. And share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.